Well, British citizens are being advised not to travel anywhere in the world for the next 30 days because of the coronavirus pandemic. The Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, made the announcement in the House of Commons. So with immediate effect, I've taken the decision to advise British nationals against non-essential travel globally for an initial period of 30 days and, of course, subject to ongoing review. Now, Mr Speaker, I should emphasise this decision has been taken based on the domestic measures introduced here in the UK, alongside the changes to border uh, and a range of other restrictions which are now being taken by countries right around the world. Following today's change in travel advice, British nationals who decide that they still need to travel abroad should do so fully aware of the increased risks of doing so. And that obviously includes the risk that they may not be able to get home if travel restrictions are subsequently put in place that they hadn't anticipated. So we urge anyone still considering travel to be realistic about the level of disruption they are willing and able to endure and to make decisions in light of the unprecedented conditions that we face. With me now, our diplomatic correspondent, uh, James Landale, watching that. And the question for many is, what, why now? Well, you heard the Foreign Secretary there talking about there's been unprecedented circumstances. This is an unprecedented move. No British Foreign Secretary has ever told the British people, don't go abroad unless it's absolutely essential. And it reflects two things. One is the advice given by the government yesterday, namely, if you're telling everybody don't travel unless it's really essential in the UK, you've got to pretty much copy that for overseas. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly, they do not want more and more Brits to be travelling overseas and getting into difficulties because there's a, it's a pretty chaotic world out there at the moment. Countries are throwing up a lot of border restrictions, travel restrictions, willy-nilly, a lot of the time without giving other countries any kind of notice. And there is an increasing risk in the government's view uh, that there will be vulnerable Brits trapped abroad, unable to get back. And they don't want to add to that stock. There's already a fair number of them. Uh, they don't want that to be increased. Uh, so, so that's really why they're doing that. Um, I think the, there are some exceptions, of course. The exceptions are primarily for freight and for you know, business goods that simply have to come into the, into the country. And for the moment, that advice will last for 30 days, but it's going to be kept under constant review, so it will probably change. It's an unprecedented announcement, but is it, is it a problematic announcement? Well, it's, it's difficult because what you do, it doesn't really solve the... British nationals who are overseas problem. Uh, when the Foreign Secretary was giving his statement to Parliament, MP after MP was standing up saying, look, what about my constituent who is trapped in country X? Uh, they, there are no flights home. Uh, their insurance is about to run out. Their hotel is about to kick them out. They haven't got any money. The insurance company is saying, we'll only pay you when you get back. H how does that solve that? And frankly, all the Foreign Secretary could really say was, look, um, you know, the UK government is not saying to these people, you must return immediately, but they're saying, look, there is a window here where f some flights may be available, where uh, some uh, countries may re 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 un take some of those restrictions, open, um, open them up so that some Brits can get home. But the Foreign Secretary was very clear, repatriation flights are costly, they are complicated, and he said they're becoming harder to achieve. So I think they are hoping for some Brits to, you know, if there's a chance for them to get home, they should move now. Is there a sense uh, that, 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 that the government, all government departments are now singing from the same hymn sheet, if you like? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes and no. I mean, government is government and, and th departments move in sort of different phases now. But this is, you know, the Foreign Office saying, look, you know, this is our side of this particular case here. And there are going to be a lot of instances of British nationals trapped abroad who find themselves in difficult circumstances now. And there will be a test of the extent of the remit, if you like, of the British government. Because, frankly, the British government does not have the resources to fly everybody home. Okay, James, thank you very much. James Landale, our diplomatic correspondent.